I don't mind carrying the extra weight. I think of it as my daily exercise. Best Med Medical Scheme. Better living, better life. Children just don't listen. <laughs> if I'd have ran for every time a parent said that, imagine. Truth is, I wouldn't be worried that children don't listen to you. I'd be worried that they never stop watching you. Your kids will remember a handful of things you ever said, but they'll never forget how you lived. If we want physically and emotionally healthy children, we've got to model it, not preach it. I learned that from the author of one of the best parenting books I've ever read, a father of three amazing kids, my own dad. So I figured I'd drag him out of parental retirement to pass on some of that wisdom. He's traveled the world motivating people for many decades and penned several books on motivation, marriage, and you guessed it, parenting. The most important aspect of parenting, what would you say? I would probably say, Mike, to build a child's self-esteem. If, if a child can leave home feeling good about himself, man, that's one of the greatest things a parent can give a child. You know, in my counseling, time and again, people tell me, how their parents just destroyed them and broke them and always telling them what they were doing wrong. So how do you build a child's self-image? Well, one way of course is to do what we're doing. Spend yeah. time together. You're right. Because when you spend time on somebody, you say they have value. I'm important, you're so right. Another way to build self-esteem is to always attack the behavior and not the child. For example, when a four-year-old interrupts adults in a rude manner, as I used to do, I'm sure. Yes, sure. and if I had said to you, you are rude, you would get the message that there's something wrong with you. But I used to say to you, Michael, that was rude, and it doesn't suit a super little boy like you. So that in the very act of pointing out the wrong behavior, I'm still affirming that you're a super kid. So self-esteem would be one of the most important things that a parent can give a child. You can't have quality time without quantity time because as parents, you don't get to decide what quality time is, your kids do. One of your famous sayings was accidents happen in the best of families and you come from one of the best. Michael, was that only one of the few things you remembered? <laughs> I thought you would have remembered more. But no, you were right. If you start punishing a child for mistakes, for accidents, you create such a nervous insecurity in a child. Of course, if you broke things, you had to pay, even if it's just partially out of your pocket money. Because if I break things, it costs me. If you break things, it costs you. But we would sympathize with you that you'd have to pay for it. Rather than moan at you or yell at you or, you know, get angry with you. So put it all in a nutshell for me. Parenting in 30 seconds. Build a child's self-esteem. Discipline with sympathy, not with anger. Give the child responsibility. And walk the talk. You know... I think you often saw us caring for others, helping others, uh, putting the needs of others first. And I think that probably had a greater impact on making you people-oriented and caring for people than anything we could have told you. Time is ultimately the greatest gift you can give to your children. When a child feels as though they're worthy of their parents' time, they develop enough self-worth to last a lifetime.